All right, in this video, I'm going to show you how to install Ansible on a MacBook Pro. So let's get started. If you've ever worked with Python before, uh, hopefully you should have pip installed already. Uh, so first step here is install Xcode. Make sure you have pip. And then you want to enter the command sudo pip install ansible space dash dash quiet. So you can see how that goes here. As you can see, the terminal is sort of bouncing in between Python and Xcode. And okay, looks like it's installed now. Uh, next step here would be to go ahead and update it. So we'll just hit the up arrow. Uh, I'm going to do the command sudo pip install ansible dash dash upgrade this time. And that should upgrade everything for us. All right, and that's your first step to using Ansible on your MacBook Pro. Okay, so now I walked you through installing Ansible. Um, that's actually not gonna be the version that we wanna use. Uh, so that was just a test for you to kind of get your feet wet here. So as you can see, I checked the version with the Ansible space dash dash version command. And so it looks like that was 2.0.2.0. Uh, it doesn't include the modules we need for the iOS and Juno and things like that. So you can see I, I, I tested that with this command here, ansible dash doc space dash dash list space pipe space egrep. So what we need to do is install the developers edition. Uh, this is the command you need to enter for that right here. So as you can see now, it's installing the developer's edition, uh, which should be uh, 2.1 or 2.2. Uh, 2.0 is just not going to work for us. Okay, so it's installed 2.2. So let's go ahead and check if those modules are available in this version. Okay, it's thinking about it here. Okay, cool. So look at all these extra modules we have to use now for networking. Uh, so the ones that I'm really interested in today are gonna be the iOS modules. Um, so these are gonna allow us to work on the Cisco equipment I have here in my lab. So again, looks like it, we've got it up to 2.2.0 at this point. So it's, it's uh, right around May 1st, 2016 for everyone who's going to watch this in the future. Again, here's the command you need to enter to get the uh, correct version. Uh, if you want to follow along with the Cisco iOS stuff, I'm going to be doing later on here in the uh, video series. <laughs> 